Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangatil and let us learn vertical edge together. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn this uh, kind of a, a greenery scene with lot of trees and grass etc. And uh, I will be explaining the uh, total process uh, throughout this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. Without further ado, let us get into the tutorial. I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper uh, around 300 gsm and uh, let us make a very simple drawing just a separation of uh, the major shapes okay uh, and maybe few few trees suggesting few trees okay so it is not a very detailed drawing it's a very 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 simple i mean kind of marking that i am doing now okay so and let us go for the washing process i am using uh, camel uh, artist watercolors uh, for today's uh, tutorial okay and the brand of watercolor paper that i am i have used is an indian brand called chitrapat okay any 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 watercolor paper or any artist quality watercolors should be good enough and i am mixing lemon yellow and uh, a little bit of sap green and touch of orange to get some kind of a warm green kind of a color and let us let us kind of uh, make the 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 bushes and the ground using this kind of this color okay and i have used a big mop brush for this uh, you could use a, a mop brush or uh, reasonably big round brush also can be used for this right we'll just stop it i mean we we don't need too much of uh, detail there once uh, this is dry i have let it dry and uh, i'm mixing a little bit of olive green and uh, maybe sap green and let us suggest some darker shapes okay don't worry too much about the precise uh, i mean shape of it these are kind of some darker shapes that's it okay this could be some nearby bushes or something some shadows and i have used the uh, a chinese calligraphy brush for this any soft uh, round brush uh, should be good enough this suggests some sort of bushes or something uh, which is nearby okay and i am mixing olive green and little bit of uh, maybe burnt sienna orange whatever and uh, let us suggest something on the ground okay this uh, it, it is not very precise but some kind of a color change color variation on the ground If you are following along, you don't have to precisely draw these uh, color changes. You can ju just suggest. If it is slightly, uh, I mean, different from what I am painting, but then it sh it should still be very. It should be. It should uh, still be good. Yeah. Some splattering of water. Okay, that too, that that creates some texture. Now let us make some skies. Yeah, it is a very simple sky, just a blue color. I am taking cobalt blue, and I am taking a soft round brush for this. And the size of the brush, uh, the size of the paper that I am using today is around A4 size. It's a smaller size, and uh, I have kept the paper at around 30, 30 degree tilt. I always keep my paper at an angle uh, uh, to tilt and which is about 30 degree. I should have taken a bigger brush and finished it faster.
No, the sky is done and uh, let us continue the wash uh, to create some sort of uh, uh, foreign foliage and I am using uh, same the previous colors, the, the green mix that we have and a little bit of uh, cobalt blue and violet. Basically it is cobalt blue, violet and some greens. Uh, when it teaches, uh, when it touches the the previous uh, uh, shapes that we have already made, I am just being careful that uh, I am sort of uh, kind of doing some negative painting around the uh, around here to suggest some kind of a bush or something. Okay, at this point I am doing some sort of ne negative painting uh, so that it suggests some sort of a bush or something. Right, so I think we are done uh, pretty much uh, about the forehead, foliages and the, the ground etc. Uh, what we need now is mainly the, the trees I would say. Okay. It's a little splattering of garlic, I mean water so that we get some texture and now we, I am mixing uh, a little darker mix of uh, olive green. Uh, cobalt blue and burnt sienna and let us suggest some sort of uh, foliages for the tree okay i'm trying to get some random edges by using the side of the brush and yeah that's it it is a thick dark color okay and i'm using side of the brush and i'm using uh, the uh, Chinese calligraphy brush because that gives me a little bit more random edges. You can use any soft uh, round brush. If you are finding some value in this uh, tutorial, if you are finding it useful, please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification. And uh, if you have any questions, suggestions or thoughts, uh, please share them in, uh, as a comment and I will surely try to get back and revert uh, with my feedback to your comments, okay? Here I am not following any specific drawing, okay? It is just I am I'm making some brushworks and I am evaluating it. If Does it make sense as a good tree? And if it is yes, leave it. And if you think some more touches can enhance it, do it. But I, I would say that you don't do too much of overwork on the tree foliages because the more you uh, try to correct it, the more mm, I mean rigid or uh, I mean th the more tight the the trees will look like. I mean it won't look like very natural if you try to do it uh, with a lot more accuracy. So usually I do just suggest the foliages and uh, I just leave it. Okay, I think that's it for this tree. mixing some crimson and Prussian blue, crimson red and Prussian blue for some darker touches and creating some more trees. Okay. See if you want you can you can draw first and then paint it but I am just uh, painting it directly. 
if you remember initially we made some vertical lines to uh, as a suggestion for these trees but uh, i am not strictly following those lines okay um, wherever it is seen those pencil marks i am trying to do it but otherwise i am not strictly following it maybe these are slightly further away so the, it is tinier in width or it could be some smaller tree i think yeah i think it is uh, can make one more tree uh any anything more i think we'll stop it at this uh, now i mean i will not we will not add too many trees Okay, let us use the same kind of mix and define the foliages. The same approach. okay just uh, just some uh, suggestions not too much details okay so we'll be repeating this process for the rest of the trees also uh, you can just follow that approach for your trees this is just a generic tree it is not a specific uh, variety of uh, the specific type of a tree i mean i'm just using some suggestive tree here okay some foliage and uh, some maybe some branches in between i'm using a lightly uh, slightly lighter colors for this okay the lighter tones so that uh, they they tend to show that they are slightly farther away I think here we can we can we can close uh, we can treat these trees as uh, in leaf done okay so maybe some darker touches here and there it shouldn't look very flat also okay so just me using some darker touches here and there so that it shows some volume let us define some shadows now on the ground so there are a lot of uh, foliages above so it will it will create a lot of shadows on the ground uh, please don't worry too much about the the precision of the shadows uh, see we cannot do it precisely anyway because uh, there are a lot of foliages above and how it will create a shadow on the ground we cannot really work it out so it is a just a, a suggestive shadows i'm just making some random uh, marks and the color that i'm using is greenish blue and maybe a touch of violet added okay. some criss cross uh, brush works and later i will uh, soften some of these brush works okay i 
I'm just uh, uh, dragging the brush a little bit so that some of these uh, shadows will get softer. Dragging the brush. With a damp brush, you can just drag it on top of the brushworks that we have already done so that it gets a little softened. some more branches maybe some, some splashes for some texture say I think uh, there is nothing much we should actually do in this okay uh, I'm just uh, suggesting some extra branches here and there, but if you if you think you you need to add some branches, you can do it. But otherwise, uh, I would better leave it in, as it is. Okay, so I'm just showing st some process of how you may add some branches if you wish, but I'm not a good fan of uh, adding too many branches. Yeah, this is a simple, simple, okay, this simple subject and uh, we are just giving some suggestive, uh, making some suggestive uh, brushworks. Otherwise, the subject is very simple. You should be, we should be able to do this in around 10 minutes time frame. I am taking a little longer because I am uh, explaining it and I am doing it a little slower. But in the usual course of time, this is uh, just uh, 10 to 15 minutes work. Okay. Right. So let us sign it and then we can click, I mean, declare it as done. Okay. So we can uh, take out the tape to get uh, a sharp, crisp edges. And uh, yeah, overall it looks good to me. So I hope this was informative. And uh, thank you very much for being with me. Please do practice. So this work is mainly for practice. Please do practice and gain confidence in making trees. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please do write them into the comment box below. And we will soon see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.